Hey guys, it's your girl Rona Jules here today, and I know it's been a very long time since I posted a video. I did have the second part of the extreme room makeover, which I'm still not finished, but I still have footage of part two. But I wanted to do this video before anything else because I post a lot of things basically I post most of my life on the internet so it's kind of wrong for me not to speak about it and literally not say something about it and just speak like I said speak about it um, a lot of you guys have been DMing me on Instagram and asking what's been going on what's wrong and a lot of you guys have seen my post on Instagram about what has transpired because I, I posted it a week later because I was just wrapping my head around it but basically there's been a lot a lot of stuff going on in my family and and on top also me a lot of things going on with my health and stuff that I literally just took a step back and just isolated myself and just took a little bit of a break especially during this time that is very difficult for a lot of people and a lot of people my condolences to people who lost their family to the corona and I'm better right now I'm like way better I'm taking this I did recorded this but I'm taking a little bit of a week to just regain my strength again start getting my energy and you know just getting myself a little bit more you know stylish because I was okay I was isolated in my room for at least two weeks due to it's not I, I don't know if it, it was corona kind of corona but um they did tell me to isolate myself but let me go into a detail a little bit in a minute but yeah, it's just been a little bit of a crazy couple of weeks and I just needed a break. But yeah, I'm going to start to explain what's been going on now. Okay, so um, my camera died and I charge it. So I just took a shower. So um, what I was saying was that just a lot has been going on and we're gonna talk about it right now and the first thing was my uncle he ended up in the hospital it was a cold or something with his stomach if you didn't know what was going on so he just went to the hospital everything was fine until if, I believe it was like the prior week that was it the prior week I think it was a prior week the prior week my grandma decided to feel a little bit sick and I was there during that day and they took us to the emergency room but this is the time that you weren't allowed in the emergency room because of the corona thing so we weren't allowed in so we went, me and my aunt decided to go back home and the home attendant and stuff. So she just went for like a high blood pressure issue and everything. And we thought it was okay. But um, it wasn't. A um, couple of days later they told us that she had lung issues and they're trying to test if it's, you know, the corona she did have symptoms but I really don't know if she did 
did or did not have it but she did have issues and she's 93 years old and that day I I think that week my dad also my uncle tested positive for corona and then it was like a whole roller coaster my aunt tested positive my dad tested positive and I had symptoms that they I call the the line for the corona symptoms and stuff and they told me just to isolate myself because I did have mild symptoms they didn't say if it was positive I didn't take the test but they did see um they say that I did have a sore throat which is kind of normal for me when I get sick um an ear infection um during that time I did not have a fever but then I started developing a fever and stuff um I did have loss of appetite I everything that my mother or my brother would give me I would literally feel like disgust or nauseous or I didn't want to eat it I had to literally force myself to eat because I wasn't like I really wasn't about it and then you know slowly but surely I just stood in my room for two weeks it was so agony like so freaking frustrating and you know I feel much better but during that period that I was isolated from everyone else and my dad was in the hospital my uncle was in the hospital my aunt was in and out in the hospital my grand I got a phone call from the doctor and it was around four o'clock in the morning and they confirmed to me that she passed away in the night an hour before she called me she passed away and it's kind of hard to tell your family members that someone that we were all so close and was basically the glue to the whole entire family passed away um that whole day i i couldn't speak i couldn't organize myself i was still in shock like for two days and it was a rough day because i did have to tell my father that his mom passed away and all of our cousins were a little bit like damn like it was really hard for us to tell our own parents that their mother passed away so it was a difficult time it's still a difficult time we're still grieving because we're so isolated it's been getting worse um my condolences to other family members who family members have either passed away or are in the corona predicament right now um this is basically what has been going on with me and I'm feeling better my family and I are, are together to try to feel better about each other um each other and keeping each other company even though we're in separate homes but that's what's been going on just been chilling here home waiting to go back to work um I can't go outside because since I have my open heart surgery and I did have lung problems, I'm mostly high risk to get it again. So I'm just staying inside the house, trying to keep myself company and happy and just trying to keep myself busy because this is really boring up in this house. Like I really wanted to be home, but I didn't really want it to be home like this. Like come on like I saw I keep seeing memes of people like oh when the coronavirus thing is over this is what's gonna happen and you just see like a flock of chickens just running everywhere outside that's how it's going to be but for right now we are in very quarantine state and it's kind of sucks it really does sucks but yeah that's what I've been doing that's what's been going on um, I hope you guys enjoy this 
little mini video I'm gonna end it here and then now the next new video will be part two of the extreme room makeover I'm still trying to do it because it was a little bit delayed like I said due to what I was sick everything was just crazy I had no energy and stuff so we're gonna finish this video this little mini series video thing and I'm gonna do more videos because I am back and yeah I see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe comment and like and if anything's you know talk to me down in the comments below how are you doing in your corona and virus quarantine because I'm bored and I need friends more friends to talk to because it's boring staying home so comment below and I'll see you guys next time deuces